Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. You will be learning seven phases of software development lifecycle, which is also known as a seven phases SDLC. Before moving further, if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills. Let us move on and understand what are those seven phases of software development lifecycle. I am going to explain in each phases what are the activities which we perform in each of these phases of SDLC. So seven phases of software development lifecycle are is we have a planning phase, then recommend phase, design phase, development phase, testing, deployment and maintenance. These are the seven phases of software development lifecycle. I am going to explain you one by one now. Let us understand what is all about planning. The planning is nothing but you need to scope the project. So what are the things we are going to implement as part of the given project. We will be doing the project planning activities, we will be doing scheduling activities, we will also be doing cost estimations, we will be doing cost estimation during uh, planning, then uh, we will also be doing procurement recommend for uh, before starting any project if you require any hardware any software any people means any resources then we'll go for a uh, procuring the uh, appropriate things for a given project that is all about the planning phase this then let us move on to recommend phase let us understand in recommend phase what all the things we do during recommend phase where our business analyst would be reaching out to product owners and product management, sometimes even clients in gathering the requirements. So what are the things we are going to implement as part of the software development lifecycle? We will be gathering the requirements from the, all the relevant stakeholders, put it all the requirements either in a documents or if it, if it is in case of Agile, we will put in a backlog. It is all about requirements gathering. Then we have a third phase is called as a designing phase. Let us understand what is all about designing. Once the requirements we gathered and we are able to understand what is or all about those requirements, we have enough clarity, then the designing phase will start. When the designing phase will start, where we are going to design the application in terms of architecture, in terms of uh, the framework, everything we are going to design for a given project. And this would be the beginning point for the software development. The fourth phase is development phase. In the development phase, the main agenda would be developing the software. In case if we say in Agile, we call it as a sprint cycles where we develop the product or an application during those sprint timelines. If you are, if you are saying in a waterfall model, then you will be developing in a complete three month cycle or a six month cycle. The main output of the development phase is we will be having a code testable in nature. It is the output of development phase. The so once the development phase is done, then we will have testing phase. In testing phase, we will be doing validation of the software. We will be ensuring that whether whatever the requirements have gathered, whether the product has been implemented as per the requirements or not. In testing, we will be performing various kinds of testing. It could be unit testing, it could be integration testing, functional testing, system testing, user acceptance testing. These are some of the functional testing. Then if it talks about non-functional testing, then we will perform performance testing just to ensure that whether application behaves as per, as per the requirement for the performance parameters 
and security aspects also will be validating that is to ensure all the security aspects of the application is as per the requirement or as per the industry standard this is the fifth phase of sdlc then let us move on to understand sixth phase deployment phase deployment phase is nothing but where we are going to deploy where we are going to deploy whatever it has been tested into the production place means that is in the client place before uh, deploying we'll also do lot of testing such as a beta testing alpha testing once the deployment is successful then when client started using the product then he may come across various challenges or issues when he is using the application or a product then any issue comes out he will be logging defect and development team has to fix those issues and give it as a hot fix or he has to give it as a update package where group of defects will get fixed For normally first three months would be of a free of cost in terms of maintenance of the given application or a product then after that the client or customer has to buy the maintenance contract so that whatever the period is going to buy the company is going to support that product hope you like this video if you like this video please click on like button and if you have visited testing shala youtube channel for the first time then do click on subscribe button and bell notification so that all our future videos related to, to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.